Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Sincerely Legenia, your one-stop shop for the best keto and low-carb recipes ever. Today, there is no exception. I am making a fabulous Swedish meatball recipe that is absolutely keto approved. So if you wanna know how to make it, then stick around because I'm about to show you how. But first, if you have not yet subscribed to Sincerely Legenia, then hit that subscription button below. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment to let me know you are here. Now, without further ado, I present to you keto approved Swedish meatballs. You are going to love this. To begin making our Swedish meatballs, we first start out with one pound of ground beef. To that, we're gonna add one pound of ground pork. Now, traditionally, um, Swedish meatballs are made with a combination of ground beef and ground pork. If you do not have ground pork, feel free to use just extra ground beef. That is fine as well. So we've got our ground beef and our ground pork. To that, we're gonna add our zucchini. That's one cup of zucchini that has been grated and drained of the excess water. Add that in there. And we're gonna also add one large egg. And a teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of black pepper. Now we're gonna go in there with our clean hands or our gloved hands, and we're gonna combine all of the ingredients together. One thing I forgot to add, guys, we're gonna need about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. All right, and let's get right back in there. Now gonna begin shaping our meatballs into maybe about one and a half inch size balls. Okay guys, we've got our ground meat mixture here and I put my meatballs in the pan already and we need to let these cook. Um, that mixture should yield about 16 meatballs and again, these are about an inch and a half. We need to let these simmer in butter. I should have actually put these on, uh, I let the butter melt first, but I forgot to do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the butter to the bottom of the skillet. And we're gonna put these on the stove on medium heat and allow this to simmer nicely with this butter. Just make sure you keep an eye on it as to make sure it does not stick. To make our cream sauce for our Swedish meatballs, we're gonna start out with one cup of chicken broth. To that, we're gonna add 3 fourths cup of heavy whipping cream and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And we're gonna whisk that together. We're gonna pour our mixture over our meat. guys my keto Swedish meatballs are ready and here they are right here mm, they smell amazing so let's give it a taste got one that I've already kind of cut up here This gravy is creamy. 
that little bit of Dijon we put in there, you can taste the Dijon. It is so yummy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This one is definitely one for the books. Mm. Nice. Well, guys, I hope you get a chance to try these Swedish meatballs. I promise you, you're going to love them and your family is going to love them too. You guys can pair these with some rice cauliflower, some mashed cauliflower, some radishes. There are so many wonderful options. If you do get to try this recipe, leave me a comment below and let me know how you like it. Thank you again for joining me. I will talk to you in the next video. Until then, have a blessed and a prosperous week. I'll talk to you next time. Sincerely, Legenia.